Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the active viewers workflow processes. So there are a couple of processes we can configure and these are predefined. First is update with approval workflow, one step approval workflow, two step approval workflow, merge workflow and unmerge workflow. Update with approval workflow will be applicable if you are updating any record through the IDD application. It can be achieved by two ways. You can have the one step approval workflow or we can have the two step approval workflow. In one step approval process, the data steward will create the record and his or her manager will approve it. However, in two-step process, two-step approval process, we have some different mechanism that we are going to see in today's session. The merge workflow and unmerge workflow are very straightforward. So whenever the record get merged or whenever the record get unmerged, the appropriate approvals will be placed or the task will be appropriately created. So what is update with approval workflow? A data steward reviews the changed entity before either cancelling the update or sending the update through a two-step approval process. So that means data steward reviews the changed entity before even sending or before it cancelling the request. So here is a list of the activities performed during the update with approval workflow. First activity is update and it will be carried out by data steward. A data steward reviews the update and either cancel the update or send it through the two-step approval process. The next activity is review no approve. This activity will be carried out by manager. A manager reviews an update and either rejects it or send it for the final review. During final review, means doing final review will be carried out by the senior manager. A senior manager reviews the update and either rejects it or approves it. Finally, the notification. Of course, the notification will be sent through the system by the activity of data steward. If the activity is approved, the data steward receives a notification that the update is approved. So these are the various activities performed during the update with approval workflow. The next is one step approval workflow. A senior manager to review, then approve or reject the update. The activities involved, there are basically three activities involved, final review, notification and update. Final review will be performed by the senior manager. A senior manager reviews an update and either approves it or rejects it. The notification will be sent to the data steward whenever update is approved by the senior manager. The record will be flagged for promotion and the, eventually the data steward will be notified accordingly. The final step or final activity in one step approval will be actual update. This data steward will perform this update operation. If that update is rejected, data steward is notified and can cancel the update. The two step approval workflow. This is one of the workflow which is configured or it is predefined in the active viewers. It requires at least two business managers to participate in the review and the approval process. The review with no approve will be performed by manager or manager reviews an update and either reject it or escalate to it to final review. The final review will be performed by the senior manager the senior manager reviews the update and either approve it or reject it. Of course, as like the previous workflows, during this workflow also the data server get the notification if it approves. 
also the record is also get marked for the promotion the final activities update if the record is rejected or the task is rejected the data steward is notified and can cancel the update these are the various processes or the workflows involved during the active viewers the merge workflow and the unmerge workflow are very straightforward there is no so many steps involved as like these workflows which we just this explain in this tutorial i hope this tutorial is created for the having the basic understanding of what are the workflows which are predefined in the workflow engine thank you for watching my video if you have any questions or comments about the workflow and active vos you can mention in the video sec in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time